you guys it's that time where we got our love every um toy kit subscription and i am so excited i feel like i get more excited than my own baby um this month is the babbler which is for month 13 14 and 15 month olds let's see what's inside first of all I love this because it always shows you the toys that are in here and how they would look like assembled as well as the timeline you can choose to introduce each toy for your baby um, and your amazing little one. Also it shows you what the upcoming subscriptions are as you can see the pioneer, the realist, the champion or the companion. Um, so I'm very excited, let's begin. Alright then they have their manual which I absolutely love because it has so much good information. It kind of shows you where your baby is at, what they should know for now. Um, also different type of activities you can do with your baby and how to introduce these toys in which way and different ways as well. Um, it also gives you a good idea of your baby's growth, what they enjoy doing at this time. And they always have this message for the parents telling you what a good job you're doing which is so important for a first time parent because sometimes you feel like you have no idea what you're doing uh, so here is what your child may understand because again every child is different and every child's progress is different um, and then as well as what they like to do and give your child what type of things you can give to your child like simple rules opportunities to get messy and so on um, I love this part because again as a first-time parent I don't want to compare my child to other children but I want to know that my child is progressing in the right way so it kind of has it fills up so much that you go like yes yeah my child does this and that that's good it means he's <laughs> he's doing well in his progress you know um, and then you have your playthings. So here are the playthings they have in the box. It would just show you um, how, why, uh, what's the importance of this item and how to do it as well and when would be the best time to do so or introduce that item. And it goes on for all of them. And then we have the next part, real life play. So it gives you activities in real life that you can do with your child like ice cubes on a tray. And again, why you should do it, like what is the benefits they'll get from it and how to do it. And it's just very useful. You can go through it on your own time. And now let's unbox and see our toys. So here we have a puzzle. Okay. So before we had one puzzle like this, but it was just one. And it was a very big circle but now you can see it has different sizes so it's more complex for your baby um, going through this and each one has a cute little face in it I think mom idea I will put different photos of our family members just so he can see it um, I love this it really does help uh, with their coordination and problem solving it's really useful then we have this cute little bunnies in the hole oh yes he is absolutely gonna love this and this is so soft i think it's wool if i'm not correct and this feels like cotton to be honest and i love the colors i love the shades um it might seem like an easy activity but it's much harder for those little ones so and i love how the hole is a little smaller so it's much gonna be much of a challenge and then we have more. So we have a box here with some carrots and some coins. So this box has different lids. This is the first one. So the first one is for the carrots. And if they press hard, it goes in. But if they don't press hard, it's just going to sit up here. So it also helps them build those little baby muscles. And then you have the other different lids is i like the there's the coin one which again this is such a difficult task for a little one because you can see the opening for the coin one is very slim but they just place the coin inside um and then we have our third lid as well 
So it's nice that it has a variety. And again, I am obsessed with the colors. I just love their colors. And this is like silicone. It's very soft. And all this wood, it's also, it, honestly, it feels soft because it's sanded very well. Then we have, let me just take these out. We have a book, bedtime for Zoe. So it talks, I'm guessing, about the child's bedtime routine. I love the thing I love about their books is that it has pictures of children and my child, my baby, loves to see other children. Um, and this is like such a hardcover kind of copy book. So he loves seeing that there's other kids out there that look like him or there's kids like there that like mini humans just like him too. And then we have oh this one is a big one. This is a big puzzle piece. I hope you can see it. So this, they're going to be throwing the ball in. And now that they have to press it in for it to go through. And then to retrieve it either through here or they would open this lid or this one. So each one has a different way. Or stick their hand inside. So this one is not open there like that. And then this one, yeah. So it has different ways. And again, for a child like to stand up and press on the ball, it's going to take a lot of balance, which would be very helpful, very hard for them, but it's going to be a good learning curve. And then we have our last toy. Oh, let me get this out. Is this oh wow okay so we have some stack of rings right here well look at them you can see and then we have this puzzle piece so you can either place the rings over here which is again gonna be very difficult target for those little ones or they could put it through here and the colors are just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, these are the toys. What I love about these toys, they really do challenge those little ones, so it's very helpful. Um, and here is the maintenance and care. So how to care for the toys, how to clean them, and it's just, um, yeah, it's just perfect. Honestly, it's a very thought out, thought out box, and it has every toy I need for this coming three months. I hope you enjoyed this video.